So I'm getting ready next to fit my in whales, which will uh, really bring the boat into shape. Okay, I'm ready to glue in my in whales, and what I've done, since I'm working by myself, um, the in whales are really tricky to get installed, and I was able to bend them in um, one at the time by forcing the in whale in at the aft bulkhead and pinning it at the bow and then squeezing it out until it popped into the notch in the forward bulkhead. And that was uh, not easy but doable uh, by myself. And so now after I got both in whales fitted, what I did is I wire tied it at the bow and you can see a little notch there for the bow wire. Um, also, I added a second wire at the bow at the very top just to give it an extra a bit of strength there. And I've added two or three of these one by twos. There's just a slight bevel cut on them and I just toe screwed it in, not all the way through, just a toe screw. And that holds the separation between the in whales. So I did one just in front of the temporary center frame and one on either side of the forward bulkhead. And then at the stern, I took the transom out to let the sides just float a little bit, and I pulled the stern end of the in whales in with a rope. And so those pieces together are holding my in whales in pretty much pretty close shape to what they're going to be when they're installed. And what this is going to let me do is get epoxy on the inside of the side panel all in here and get epoxy on the inside of the or the outside rather of the in whale and install the in whales together without inducing an asymmetrical uh, tension in either side and then once they're installed and I get them screwed in I can take out all my my internal supports there so we'll see how that goes Okay, so about an hour later, I finally got all the glue cleaned up, and uh, the operation was successful. I was able to glue in both in whales at the same time, and um, you can see I left that wire in, and I've got a one by two on the outside, which is actually a little bit thick. Um, it didn't it didn't really want to bend, but I made it. Um, and that runs all the way out to where the uh, the curve drops off, and then I switch to um, just screws and pads. Uh, I don't have a lot of clamps, so and this boat will have a gunnel anyway. So, so there it is. We've got the transom back on, and there's the final shape. Um, tomorrow I'll get the uh, I'll get the chine stitched together, and we'll get the wires out of it. There it is.